guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy May, I think. By the time this goes up, it probably will be May, let's be real. But hi, hello, how are you? Hopefully you're doing okay. I know times are weird and rough and odd and I am kind of surprised by the amount of favorites that I actually have. So I was like, you know what? We're just gonna do a chill sit down favorites video. I wasn't even in the mood to break out the lights. So we're sitting by my window. I actually really like this setup. So let me know what you think. Normally I like break out my lights. I sit all the way back there, which I like that setup as well. But this is nice. I love natural light, so. Maybe we'll film more here, you know, while, while things are chill. And just like a quick chat about that. Um, I'm just gonna keep things kind of honestly like quarantine at home related here on my channel. I'm not really gonna do a bunch of like videos I would normally do. We're gonna keep the vlogs going. I can do, you know, what we're making in those vlogs. Like it's gonna be really like vlog based pretty much. I mean, I will have some random videos here and there. I can do like clean with me. I just wanna keep it like stuff at home. I don't really want to like, I mean, I, I was gonna say buy a bunch of makeup. I did order some makeup from um, the Sephora sale and then I needed some things from Ulta like restock and then I added some other things on. So I might do a beauty haul, but for the most part, it's just gonna be like chill at home videos for the next foreseeable future because I don't really feel like anything else is really appropriate. I'm just trying to channel like what's going on in the world into my videos because I don't know it's we're not in a place where we can go do a Target haul or a Trader Joe's haul or anything like that. So just gonna keep it low-key and mellow here on my channel for the foreseeable future until you know things are lifted but just kind of whatever I can come up with doing at home so maybe some more plant stuff and just let me know what you guys want to see obviously things are not gonna be like coronavirus based but just like kind of how we're living right now we're at home we're working on the home we're working on projects we're cleaning we're vlogging we're cooking a lot so I just kind of want to keep it in that realm I feel like that went on for five hours and it didn't need to when I was thinking about doing a favorites video I was kind of like well I don't really know if I have any favorites but then I like started going around the house gathering things I have tons of favorites so um, these are all over the board. There are some like beauty, some some makeup, some skincare, some hair care, body care, some lifestyle, some oils, some nail polish stuff. Like I just have it all over the map. So I figured I'd do it. It would just be like a nice sit down chatty video. She's already really chatty, so I should shut up and get into it. But yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. My April faves from staying at home literally all month. I always say we start with nail polish as usual and we'll do the same. Let me freaking tell you, I've had so many requests to show you my like at home manicure and I'm not gonna do that because I number one hate it and I get in this very very cranky mood it's very like an oxymoron how much I love nail polish and having nice nails but how much I freaking said the f word how much I hate doing them myself but before we mention these so I won't be sharing my at-home manicure with you because I literally have no idea what I'm doing and I have stopped trying to cut my cuticles because I just keep injuring myself or making it worse. But something that does work really, really well is the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. I'm sure this is chock full of chemicals and terrible for you, but it really does do a good job at getting um, the cuticles like around your nails. So what you do is it has like a little applicator tip thing and you just put it around your nails you let it sit for a minute it has like very um intense instructions in which it says do not leave on longer than a minute which makes you feel like okay this is killing me <laughs> but it gets rid of my cuticles and then so i will put it on for a minute like let it sit for a minute i will take a damp paper cloth or paper towel and wipe it off then I will take my cuticle pusher backer and I will literally just like kind of go to town on the sides and you will see it gather and it's crazy. Mm, it's, mm, it's such a struggle. And every time I do my nails, I'm like, that's it. After this, I'm not wearing nail polish again. But, okay, so you get that. This is a good product. I've heard a lot of people recommend this for at-home manicures. Um, I don't know who, rec somebody like recommended this to me. Like, yeah, that will get it off. And so I ordered it, I tried it, and I really, really like it. So I've been using this every time I do my nails at home. But honestly, what saved my sanity for doing my nails at home is the Essie Gel Couture nail polish. I've talked about this a lot that when I, on the off chance I wanna do my nails from home, maybe like I don't wanna, my nail salon is kinda of far away so I don't wanna drive out there or I need to do, I like whatever, I don't have the time. If I'm giving myself an at home manicure, Essie Gel Couture polishes are by far my favorite. Like we all know I love OPI, but I guess I prefer my nail lady to paint the OPI on my nails because I'm terrible at it. Something about this formula and this brush makes it so easy and foolproof that it just like, ah. ah. <laughs> so my first like three at-home manicures, I tried to use other polishes. I don't know why it didn't occur to me that like, hey, Amy, 
you like to use this on your nails at home, why not use it? I don't have very many colors in which I'm gonna change that. I ordered some from Ulta, but this is one of my all-time favorite ones. This is Style in Excess number 190. You guys have heard me talk about this a thousand times, my favorite top coat for um, a lot of the times I will get my nails done and then I don't wanna like pay for another manicure yet. So I'll kind of like cut them down, reshape them, paint over them with the same color I got them done with and then top it off with this. And it's like a really nice fresh manicure. This is my favorite top coat ever. I even take this with me to the salon because it's very shiny, it's very chip resistant and I just love it. So I just wanted to mention those. Let me know if you guys use these polishes, what is your favorite color in them? I want some more like fun spring colors. Most of the ones I have now are just kind of like Muted pinks, I have like a magenta, I have like some whitish colors, but I want more colors. So um, yeah, so those these have been saving my at-home manicure sanity so I don't chop my nails off. Oh, and then one more nail related favorite. This is by Young Living. This is the Young Living Rose Ointment. I have been loving this, I'm gonna do it right now, for moisturizing my cuticles. First off, it's kind of like this mac and cheese color. <laughs> smells amazing, it smells like rose. And which, when you're like trying to find a pure, like real rose oil, they're very expensive. And this, I believe this jar is 20 bucks, but like you really don't use that much, so it's gonna last you a while. It's a really like nice and inexpensive way to get rose oil like into your routine because rose oil is very beneficial for your skin. I haven't even mentioned what I'm doing, I'm just doing it. <laughs> but I've been putting this on my cuticles. I am trying to like up the cuticle care in between. I, I can't go get my nails done. So like anything that helps my cuticles like not be a nightmare, I am doing. So I've just been putting this on my cuticles, usually like every night before bed. I was gonna say like twice a day, but let's be real, I'm freaking not doing that. If I think about it, I will, but I usually don't. But this stuff is just really nice. Um, you can use it on like cracked dry skin, you could use it on your lips. It's just a nice like ointment balm to have around, but for me, I love it on my cuticles and it smells really nice. And it's not too greasy, so even if you like you were to put this on in the middle of the day, like it's not gonna be like, Oh, I can't use my hands, you know? <laughs> and I will say the first like two weeks of my cuticles like without being trimmed, cause I like, I know some people are against trimming your cuticles and they like ask their manicures not to, but I'm like, no, fricking get rid of them. I hate them. So like the first two weeks of not having them trimmed, it was kind of a nightmare, but I feel like they've kind of mellowed out. So um, yeah, and I have no like peeling or anything like that. And I think it's from keeping them hydrated. So I love this stuff. Wanted to recommend that as well. Now moving on to makeup. I don't have, I have two items. A lot of the stuff that I'm still using, I mentioned in my last two favorites videos, which I can pop up in the corner as I talk through it. But um, especially last month's favorite, like the CoverGirl Skin Milk, I'm still loving. The Wet n Wild Blush Lighter, I'm still loving. And if you wanna see my quarantine makeup routine, I can also link that up in the corner for like things I've been loving on the daily. But I do have a couple of other items. I think I, I did haul this in my last beauty haul, but this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Dewy. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I did not enjoy the original Photo Focus Foundation. Hated it. It took me forever to like blend it out to what I would like. It smelled weird and I just did not think it was a great foundation, even for the $5 that it is. But they came out with a Dewy formula and I heard so many people raving about it that I was like, crap, you know what? I'm just gonna try it. It's literally $5. I am obsessed. I'm wearing it today, and this is a great color match as well, I think. I have the shade Shell Ivory for fair, pale people. That's me. <laughs> but I love it, and I actually tried this on the first for the first time on camera. That was in one of my vlogs. I can link it up in the corner. I think I've already used up all my links in the corners, but whatever. But I use it for the first time in that video, and I've just been using it on and off since. I guess I do go between this and my skin milk, depending on what I'm doing, but I really, really like this. So it has a paddle, which is another reason I like it, because you could just take it out, slap it all over your face. I, of course, use my Morphe blending or Morphe beauty sponge for blending that I freaking love. I just, I'm like amazed. And it doesn't even take that much, I guess. Like with most foundations, I would do like two coats, but with this, I just need one. Even putting it on today, I was like, dang. I am also having like really great skin at the moment. And it's, I think it's because two products I mentioned in my last month's favorites, my Paula's Choice BHA liquid exfoliant and my Marc Jacobs Youth Quake moisturizer. If you want to know more about those, go watch last month's favorites, but I think like those are like improving my skin. And I think also just having the time to dedicate to my skin every morning and night, like it doesn't really get skipped. I'd say, and I'm going to do like quarantine morning and night routines because I think that like now more than ever, because I have the time, I have more of a routine in both of those. So stay tuned for those, but I've just been having great luck with my skin. I even like just 
finished my period and like nothing wild happened and I was like damn and I kept getting these weird like blemish like tiny tiny zits on my cheeks I haven't had any of those in like a month and a half like I don't I mean I don't know I'll take it so my skin's looking good but then I really like the way this makes my skin look on top of it it sits nicely doesn't oxidize I like it throughout the day it doesn't get super shiny or anything I just I'm really really enjoying it and it's five dollars I think maybe it's like five something almost six dollars it's great though so I would highly 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 recommend this wow and then something else I didn't know for a while how I felt about it but I know now that I do like it it is the L'Oreal I think is this right L'Oreal doesn't oh yes L'Oreal Bambi eye mascara I only bought it because of the word Bambi and I love Disney I'm gonna be completely real with you do I like this as much as my Co cover girl clump crusher no but I do still really like it and I appreciate that they have the shade black brown because I love brown mascara this isn't as lengthening as my cover girl clump cl cl my cover girl clump crusher <laughs> but it is very like volumizing if that makes sense like you have a really nice kind of just like volume all the way across your lashes and it layers well because I do usually like to do two layers of mascara um, this is what the tip looks like that's what she said but um, pretty standard but I just have found myself I keep reaching for this in which that says a lot because it's really hard to like peel me away from my covergirl clump crusher but I love this so I do I did wanted to mention <laughs> I can't speak I did want to mention this because I've been using it a ton and it's cheap as well. I really don't, oh, I was gonna completely lie and say like, I do not spend the money on high-end mascara, but I do love the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. And you guys know that I love to combine my CoverGirl Clump Crusher and my Roller Lash. I do one layer of CoverGirl, one layer of Benefit, and then it's like, bam. That's what I have on today, if you can see. I have one thing for skincare and I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before but I've been using it like a lot more. This is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Antioxidant Glow Serum. I have been, I mean I, I do wear makeup like a good amount during this quarantine because we are vlogging and it just like taking the time to sit down for five ten minutes and put on some CoverGirl skin milk and some mascara just makes me feel a world of difference. So I do wear makeup a lot and like I said I did a whole video on that I'll have it linked up in the corner but on days I am not wearing makeup I kind of have like my own like little no makeup routine which I get to also share I guess I could share that in the quarantine routine since I already did a makeup routine I meant to say quarantine morning routine did I say quarantine twice freaking losing it y'all but in my like skincare when I'm not putting on makeup and if I know that I will end my skincare with this face spray and it's incredible I do like this for on top of makeup as well but it just something about it just makes you almost look like you're wearing highlighter because it just makes your skin look so dewy and like it hits the right places and your skin just looks and feels really healthy with this on it. So this has been a part of my like quarantine skincare routine and I totally love it. So I wanted to mention it again, even though I've mentioned it before, but I love this stuff. It smells great, has a nice mister and it just, you feel nice when you're using it. I have a hair favorite, which I feel like I rarely have. I tried a natural conditioner and I'm, shocked that I'm loving it. I've tried like a few more natural shampoos and I have ones I like, ones I don't like. I don't think I've ever tried a natural conditioner and I am like, I, I was expecting to hate it because I have very like, the hair itself is normal but I have a lot of it. Like I have a ton of hair, especially right now. My God, you guys, I need a haircut. It's driving me nuts, y'all. But if I use the wrong conditioner, it can like weigh the hair down, make it greasy, make it frizzy. So I'm very, very particular about my conditioners in which I really just prefer the Tresemme Keratin Smooth, which is like the opposite of natural, but it works great. But I had a bunch of points. You guys know I'm, I'm into Young Living and I'm part of their essential rewards program in which like you buy monthly, I buy my oils through them um, and then they like give you points to use as cash back depending on how much you spend. So I saved up my points for like a while and I placed a huge order of more like lifestyle stuff, like stuff I've been wanting to try but I didn't want to spend my money on it just in case I didn't like it. But I'm loving pretty much all of it. I think there was one thing I didn't like but this I loved. This is the Young Living Copaiba Vanilla Moisturizing Conditioner. First of all, this does not smell like a natural product. This smells like incredible, it smells like icing pretty much for your hair. It smells very vanilla-y, but like with a little bit of maybe like citrus in it. It smells incredible and I really, really like it. I used it the last time I washed my hair so you can kind of see. The smell like lingers a little bit, but not a lot. Like it's nothing to be annoying, but like sometimes you'll catch it, you know, when you turn your head, you're like, oh yeah. And as far as like a natural conditioner, this is not that pricey and it will last me a while because I never wash my hair. 
I am still trying to decide how I feel about my Young Living shampoo because it doesn't lather. And I know that that doesn't matter. It doesn't mean your hair is not getting clean, but I've heard there's tricks to making it lather. I just gotta figure it out. But this I love, I would totally repurchase. Um, and I've used it for a while, but there's still a ton left. And, and I just, I can't believe that I'm enjoying a natural conditioner. I really did not think that that was gonna work out for me, but I'm loving this. I have a body favorite, which I've mentioned before, but I just wanna mention it again because I reordered it and I freaking love it. This is the Owl Botanica Very Emollient Bath and Shower Gel in the Honey Mango Scent. This is my favorite shower gel ever. It is so moisturizing. It smells so good. We, when we went on our honeymoon, we stayed at the Grand Waialea in Maui and they have the, their own products from their spa and it smells just like this. So it makes me feel like I'm in Hawaii. It makes me feel very nostalgic. I believe also their tuberose scent is also for very dry skin. Um, I was using their mint flavor, which is not for dry skin and it makes a difference. Like my skin is much more not dry when I'm using their very dry formula. So this, it says on it, replenishing moisture for extra dry skin, which like my leg skin, the skin on my legs is so dry and this really, really helps it out. So I use this morning and night and then I pretty much morning and night also use my, my first day beauty repair cream and that like, wow, it's a, it's a dream team. So I just wanted to mention this because it's back in my life. I love it. It's my favorite shower gel ever. I ordered it on Amazon. I think it was like 10 bucks. Like it's not bad. It's a huge bottle as you can see. And I love that it has a pump. So you just pump it right on your loofah or in your hand or whatever you prefer to wash your body. It's freaking great. So, and somewhat natural ingredients. It does have fragrance in it, which I don't love, but it's the very last ingredient, which means there's the least amount of it in here. So yeah. Now I have some home stuff, including oils. So we're going to talk about those. I, I talked, okay. I, if you are interested in more oils stuff, I actually do um, essential rewards hauls over on my essentially Amy Instagram page. I put them up on my IGTV. So yeah, if you want to see what I get in my orders each month, go follow me there. But I mentioned this month that I tried this one out for the first time. This is called Idaho Blue Spruce. And I said in that video, I'm almost angry that I haven't tried this before now. <laughs> because it smells so good and I've been so obsessed with it. Somebody shared and I reshared it on my oils page, a blend that is supposed to smell like an anthropology shop, which now thinking about it, now that I have this, I haven't even tried it yet, um, but I ordered the wrong Idaho oil. I, I ordered Idaho Grand Fur, which the combo of the essential oils for the anthropology blend still smelled good, but I want to try it like properly. But even outside of that, like this diffused alone smells incredible. Like I diffuse this at night in my bathroom when I'm taking my baths. I'll diffuse it in the living room with grapefruit or in the bedroom. Like it just smells freaking great. And Bradley loves it. It's just very, almost kind of like a Christmas tree, but sweeter, if that makes sense. Like it's, it's wild. And like I said, I'm pissed I didn't discover it before now. I love this. So yeah, <laughs> if, you, if you're on Young Living and you haven't tried this yet, freaking do it. And then the freebie for last, I guess last month, was this bottle of eucalyptus radiata, which Young Living has three different eucalyptus oils. I made the mistake of ordering the eucalyptus blue and it is the worst smell I've ever smelled in my life. Like truly, like I got rid of that oil. I couldn't even have it in my house. I prefer the eucalyptus globulus, which I think is the one that smells most like what you're used to eucalyptus smelling like. But this is a really nice variant. It smells just like eucalyptus, but also again, it smells a little bit sweeter. It smells so, so good. So I've also been loving this. So I wanted to mention that in case you are a eucalyptus fan as well and you've only been sticking to the eucalyptus globulus, this one is great as well. And like I said, I kind of go between both of these at night in the bathroom. I usually in the bathroom only diffuse like lime or eucalyptus. Um, I don't know why, just it smells nice in there. It's nice when you're taking a shower to mix with the steam. Um, so eucalyptus gets heavily used in my bathroom, whether it's in the diffuser or just like a few drops in the shower. And all the eucalyptus oils are pretty cheap, so yeah. I have one more Young Living thing for those who hate Young Living, I apologize, but I love it. So I don't wanna like not mention it. But <laughs> in that haul where I ordered a bunch of lifestyle stuff for with my free points, I wanted to try their dish soap. So this, this is the Thieves dish soap. I love this stuff. And to be honest, it's not, it like doesn't feel any different than my Trader Joe's dishwash detergent, except for the fact it has better ingredients and you need much, 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 much less. So that is kind of taking like getting used to is how you really don't need that much of it. Um, Young Living like products are super concentrated. So they say you only need a little bit and it's hard for me to like believe cause I'm used to like, especially with like body wash, like laundry detergent, I just like go to town um, and dish detergent as well, but it's wasteful and it's not necessary. This would be expensive to fly through the way 
way I fly through dish soap now. Um, but it's much better ingredients. It smells incredible. It doesn't really smell like the cinnamony thieves. It smells more like the laundry detergent thieves, which is very like lemon and just clean. And I love it. And so I've used half of this and then they say you can fill it back up with water and just kind of like let it do its thing. Just to like get a longer life out of it. So we'll see how that goes. It's cleaning my dishes so well. We have a lot of hand wash things that we don't put in the dishwasher that are either too nice for it or we just don't want to ruin them. And so um, a dish, a, a good dish soap is important in our house and I were both actually loving it. He told me the other day that he liked it as well. <gasps> There's bergamot in it, no wonder I love it. But yeah, no fragrance, which like, that's kind of been important to me as I've realized like, okay, I'm using this to clean my plates and my plates are literally what I eat off of and whatever I, you know, I clean my plates with, I'm ingesting that, so. Things like that are starting to click. So I wanted to try this and I'm loving it. So I thought I'd mention it. I don't know if it's up yet because I, we kind of got backlogged on our weekly vlogs because to be honest, like I'm running out of things to vlog. So I didn't have a week six, so I'm compiling week six and week seven. But in the beginning of week six, I do do a haul from Grove Collaborative. We were running low on some household items and I was shocked that Grove Collaborative had things because I know it's like a dark time in order to have, you know, people are stocking up like crazy and they're running out, but they had a bunch of hand soaps and they had our laundry stuff that we needed. So I placed a haul. I did a haul in that video. You can watch that if you want to see what else I got, but you guys know I love the Mrs. Myers hand soaps, but this was a new scent to me. So this is the Mrs. Myers hand soap in Plumberry. I don't know if this is like a winter thing. It smells so good. And every time like me or Brian wash our hands like it fills the apartment a little bit and I'm like wow that smells incredible you guys know I'm also loving the rose scent I think I mentioned that last year the or last month or the month before maybe these are both like the two new spring scents I don't know but I am loving this so just wanted to mention that but I love all of these soaps pretty much my favorites are the lavender right now the rose I love the lemon verbena I love the peppermint and just the plain mint I love the honeysuckle like the bluebell I love a lot of them so you can't really go wrong but this is a new scent that we've been loving so I wanted to share that and then last but not least I have a little dog fave you said I missed it we got a puppy he's incredible I freaking love him he's asleep out there right now and when we got him he had um like pretty severe like tear stains. I got a lot of comments from you guys too because I mentioned this and you're like, oh, it's just normal for poodles and you know, I, I and Tuna, my brother's dog gets them as well. So it's like, I know it's not like a cause of concern, but I just wanted to like clean them up a bit because it just kind of looked like um, it could have been prevented. Just if like earlier on in his life, it was being more maintained. So I did do some trimming around his eyes, which I actually need to do again because he's got some eyes or some hair sticking into his eyes. And I feel like, ah, oh, you can't see but it's freaking so scary to trim their hair around their eyes that I'm just, I have to wait till he's like literally like comatose asleep <laughs> so he doesn't jump, jolt around. So then, you know, with a little bit of trimming, letting whatever stain grow out and trim it, and then just staying on top of it, I've seen such a huge improvement and this stuff helps loosen the eye boogers so incredibly well. So this is by Natural Report, Rapport, don't know. It says the only eye tear stain remover dogs need. And I agree, it's pretty like, natural and great. So it's 98% naturally derived ingredients, puppy friendly. You could also use it for cats. It's super simple to use. So it's 100% sourced and manufactured in the USA. No alcohol, sulfates, sulfates, or parabens. So, and the ingredients are very little and great. And I don't know what it is about this stuff. It works better than water and it smells really good too. It kind of smells like thieves laundry soap. So basically what I will do is I will just saturate a cotton round with it and just kind of wipe his eyes, kind of using a little bit of my nail as like painful as that sounds, it's not painful, but you do kind of have to help loosen the eye boogies. He doesn't seem in pain at all. He actually seems, well, he enjoys it because he wants to eat the cotton round, but he lets me do it. He like gets excited when I shake it up because you do have to shake it up before each use. Oh, and it's fragrance free. That's awesome as well. I just wanted to mention this because I was kind of astounded at like, okay, every time I use this, I'm getting like chunks of crap off. It just helps loosen whatever dries down and you can get it off before it stains. So. Just wanted to mention that in case you're having that problem as well. And as I am wrapping up, the gardeners are starting outside, so that's good timing. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. I am also, if you've been following any of my Instagram or YouTube videos, know I'm loving Animal Crossing. I feel like we didn't even need to talk about it. It's taking up a lot of my time, but in the best way. I find it very calming and just so exciting 
to wake up in the mornings and go see what kind of colors of flowers I've crossbreeded. Like, it's great. <laughs> Which I'm gonna go get back to playing that now. I'm just leaning back in my chair. I didn't even mention this is one of my cute dresses I got from American Eagle for half off. Like, I love it. But I, it's super cute. I love the sleeves. Okay, but anyway, the gardeners are here and they're ready. So I love you guys. I'll see you very soon in a new video. I hope you guys are having a great day or trying to at least. I know, you know, great days are probably not like what everybody's having right now. Hope you're having a calm, relaxed day and you're feeling good. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.